Hey guys, it's CWQ here, and I got a story for you coming out of South Korea. A lithium battery factory in South Korea was set on fire after multiple batteries exploded on Monday, killing 22 workers. Most of them were Chinese nationals. The fire and a series of explosions ripped through the factory run by primary battery manufacturer Aerosol and Hwangsun, an industrial, an industrial cluster southwest of the capital Seoul. And this is Aerosol here. So let's take a look from the ground region here if we can. Hopefully we can. We might not be able to. Nope. We're not going to be able to. But this is Aerosol here. Is looking in Seoul. So. There is nowhere, I guess, that you can go to to look at this area, which would have been nice. But as we also know, this is Korea, so we may not be able to look at a whole lot. We can go over here. I don't know if we can see it from here, but let's just go over here real quick and get an idea of what the area looks like. So if we look down that road there, we can see it's back over in that area. Off the ground. Okay. So anyway, this is where today's news report is taking place. Um, the victims likely succumb to extreme toxic gas within seconds of the blaze getting out of control, officials said. It was unclear what caused the explosions, and the fire was largely extinguished in about six hours. It's a lot of time for it to be uh, on fire. 18 Chinese workers, two South Koreans, and one Laotian were among the dead. The nationality of the other deceased worker was yet to be confirmed. Kim Jin Yung, an official at the Hwasong Fire Service, told reporters citing information from company officials. The blaze was first reported at 10.31 a.m. Greater Mountain Time after a series of battery cells exploded inside a, where, a warehouse of 35,000 batteries. Whew. A, um... Two people were being treated for major burns, and live TV footage showed firefighters spraying the damaged street steel and concrete building. Parts of the upper level collapsed, and large chunks of the building looked like they had been blown out into the street by the explosions. Aerial footage showed massive white smoke clouds billowing from the structure and explosions rolling through the building. Jaeyoung Province fire official Cho Sun Hu said most of the foreign workers killed were temporary hires, likely unfamiliar with the structure of the building. Smoke and fire blaze spread within 15 seconds, and the victims likely succumbed after taking one or two breaths. Kim Jehu, fire and disaster prevention professor at Daejeon University said the fire had probably spread too quickly for workers to escape. Battery materials such as nickel are easily flammable, he said, so often there is not enough time to respond compared to the fire caused by other materials. South Korea's President Yoon suk yeol visited the scene after the accident later on Monday. And Minister Lee sang Min called on local authorities to take steps to prevent any hazardous chemicals from contaminating the surrounding area. Established in 2020, South Korea-based aerosol makes lithium primary batteries for seniors and radio communication devices. It has 48 employees, according to its last regulatory filing. Calls for aerosol officers were unanswered. The company is not listed on South Korea's stock market, but it's majority owned by S-Connect, according to Aerosol's regulatory filing. 
S-Connect is registered on Junior CASDAQ index and its shares closed down 22.5%. Battery production involves the use of highly toxic chemicals, I mean materials. The fact that there were so many casualties when this was on only the second floor is because of toxic materials and not so much because of burns. South Korea is home to major producers of lithium ion batteries that power electronic vehicles, EVs, to the world's biggest automakers, Hyundai Motor and its affiliate Kia. Oh, stay good. I hope my car don't have no lithium battery, which are making a push to shift away from internal combustion cars to EVs. Two years ago, South Korea bought in legislation to punish the executives of a company in the event of a fatal accident with possible jail terms after the country saw dozens of workers killed in industrial accidents each year. Whew. So anyways, you guys, there's the story. And if we hear anything more on it, we'll let you know. Anyways, you guys, much love, God bless, and have a wonderful afternoon, evening, or morning, wherever you are in the world.